When pressure points is connected to brains, the gate outputs work a little differently. When brains is connected, the gate outputs go high whenever their respective stage is reached. So exactly one gate output is high at any given time. The common gate output would no longer be useful, since it would simply be high all the time, no matter what happened. However, this is useful for self-patching. For example, patch one of the gate outputs to reset to change the length of a sequence. In conjunction with that reset gate, we can use the same or another gate to initiate events elsewhere in the system after a given number of clock pulses. Since one gate is high at any given time, the common gate output would no longer be useful, since it would simply be high all the time, no matter what happened. For a gate at every pulse of the clock input, you can simply molt your clock instead. However, a common touch gate output will always be useful and is provided with the T gate output.